Welcome back. Right now, we're happy to welcome in the Impractical Joker, stars of their own true TV series. And now, they're ready to conquer the big screen with Impractical Jokers, the movie. It's opening this weekend. Guys, it's so great to see you and talk to you guys. I watch your show with my kids all the time. Love it, love it. You guys crack us up all the time. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I love hearing that. So what made it, you guys, you know, your show is very successful. How did you guys go into the idea and start to say, hey, you know what, let's make a movie out of this? Well, the show, uh, we're making season nine now. Uh, didn't know we'd be at this point, but from the beginning we kind of said if we get enough of a fan base It would be nice to do something uh, Bigger all the things that we can't do on TV and after a few years we, we thought that would be a good idea It took years to make it, but it was made for the fans geared for the fans yeah. and um, We just have a running list of all the things that were too expensive or would have taken too much time that we just couldn't do on TV We loaded them into this movie. Uh, there's tons of spoilers yeah. So we're hoping that um, fans go see it opening weekend actually yeah, we actually made sure that we made the movie PG-13 because, as you said, families watch it together, and we thought it's important that it be a movie that the families can go see together. So that was really important for us as well. Yeah, you don't know how hard it is to find everybody, a movie that everybody will agree on. I got a 15, a 12-year-old, a 9-year-old, and it's a challenge to be like, all right, what are we going to see? Everybody wants to see something else. So that's really great. You do five and really to 100. Great. You're good. That's good news. Yeah. Now, you guys started out in high school. You guys have been tight friends. Did you ever think you would hit this level of success? We planned this precisely. Yes. No. No. no we, we we always uh, you know we did comedy in high school together. We loved performing together. And uh, after college, formed our comedy troupe with the Tenderloins, and always dreamed of getting our own TV show one day, and and hopefully making it. But we we failed a lot more in life than we succeeded. Uh, yep. uh, so it is uh, it's crazy to us that this has been yeah. going on ten years, mm -hmm. and now we have a movie out in theaters. Many people still think I'm a failure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Many people in this room. <laughs> Seated to his right. <laughs> and left <laughs> and behind. No, I mean it's wild that we get to make a living just doing this. Yeah. This is all we do on the show, just this. Yeah. Which is amazing. I mean, it's really like a dream job. You guys just have a blast. You laugh all day long, and you guys are with your, you're with your best friends. Yeah, yeah, we are. You know, these are we get to experience this right together, which, which makes it so much more special to all of us. I think is to be able to look left and right and be standing up there in the spotlight, with sharing it with your friends. Now, who do you think is the easiest to deal with the challenges? Who takes them the hardest? Who takes them the hardest? Ooh. I don't want to point any fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't point anything. Yeah, I, uh, the, 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 the network research has come back. <laughs> America is I, I lose the most and I, because I suffer the best. Do you think that you'll ever run out of ideas and pranks? We thought we were going to run out of the season one. Yeah. Right? Sure did. But every year we just uh, have a little meeting and we say if we're having fun, people are watching and we can change the show and evolve the show, we'll keep doing it. Here we are in season nine and I'm still genuinely laughing and, um, and, 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 and our fans just come out. I mean, like, we tour nationally as well and right now we're fortunate enough to, to selling out all these venues across the world. and. Um, we were like, the time is now to do it. I mean, everyone has, has kind of caught on to it. We want to just give them a gift back. And so we made this, this movie for, for the fans. Yeah, and one thing worth mentioning, it's a limited release. So, um, so if you're a fan of Impractical Jokers, if you love the show, uh, it would help us and other fans greatly if you went to go see it opening weekend, because the more people see it opening weekend, the more theaters will take it on and it'll roll out a little bit more. Uh, it's not a typical movie release in that way, but... Uh, I think it's we, a new way. It's a new way, and, and we're really gambling. We were happy to do it. We're gambling on... We're betting on the fans, heavy. Fans. Yep. We're, we're betting on the fans of the show coming out and, and seeing it, and uh, pl please don't... Please don't prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know some people in my house that they're going to be gunning to go see it. I just watched the trailer, and yeah, it awesome. is Thanks. hilarious. I have to ask you guys real quick, how did you get Paula Abdul in on this one? You know, we, we had crushes on her from high school, and we actually wrote the part in the movie for her, and when we sent it out to her, we had, we had no idea that she was a fan of Impractical Jokers. We only found out afterward, so it was like a dream come true working with her. Yeah, and she's fantastic. She was so great. She brought the movie to a next level, and uh, she has become a very special part of our lives. Yeah, America is about to reform fall in love with Paul Abdul. <laughs> well, good thing she said yes, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, we wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Actually, she said no. We kidnapped her, brought her to the set, and she did everything in it uh, with us off screen sharpening knives. <laughs> but it really got a great performance out of her. She did. All you right. did. All right. Well, guys, good luck with the film. Really excited for you. Again, the trailer's hilarious, but it's no shocker because you guys are hilarious on your own.
Oh, thank thank you, you, so you so much. Great talking to you. Have a great opening weekend. You too. You too. All right, stay with us. We'll have much more ahead.